Welcome back to Where You Live. I am your host, Paige Hudson, and I'm here with Lyndon Hutchinson, the president of Gem of the West Museum. Now, Lyndon, thank you for being here with me today. Thank you, I'm pleased to be here. Great. Tell me a little bit about Gem of the West. Well, Gem of the West is a museum that uh, represents some of the artifacts and the cultures of the people that have been in Coaldale since its development. So it's a, uh, it's a very nice museum. And I think it displays you know, what some of the things that people did in the past. Okay, and when was Gem of the West established? I believe it was established in, in uh, 1995. And at that time, I think they renovated this building, which was previously a church and then a cement factory. Mm, and it was based on volunteers who had several people, many people that were uh, uh, major factors in getting this uh, rebuilt. Oh, neat. And refurbished. And why was the museum established? Well, I believe the people at that time thought there was a lot of heritage here and that they, if they used this building, which was available to them, that they could display it and uh, keep, help people to remember what things were like in the past. Yeah, and that's so important too. I love looking up old like genealogy and history of different things because that's really the core of a town, right? Is where you come from. Now, what type of artifacts does the museum have for visitors? Well, uh, there, are, there are a lot of artifacts, and uh, I guess while I'm thinking about it, part of the museum encompasses a blacksmith shop that is uh, pretty well stocked, and it's a working blacksmith shop, and we have a volunteer that comes certain times uh, of the year to, uh, I guess, demonstrate to school groups who, or whoever would like, uh, things that used to happen in blacksmith shops. Mm -hmm. uh, the other displays are represent the, the working life of the people here and the businesses that used to serve the people. Oh, neat. That sounds really interesting, too, because it's not every day you just go and see how blacksmiths work, right? <laughs> so now talk about some of the permanent exhibits at the museum. There's a new RCMP exhibit. Yes, we're, we're pleased that we were able to uh, receive some artifacts and uniforms from the RCMP uh, in Regina, and they're on loan to us for approximately a year. So they're on display, and the volunteers have built or reconstructed a, a fort-type uh, building to display artifacts of the era in there so you have it's a nice facility and people should come to see it it's it's our contribution toward the 150th anniversary of of canada oh neat that's great now the museum also doubles as an event hall correct yes and what type of activities have happened at the museum and who can take advantage of the facilities if they wish well, an agreement was reached between the town and the Museum Society a couple of years ago where the town operates the building and uh, maintains the building and they have offices in here, but the Museum Society looks after the, the displays. So it's kind of a, a two-pronged thing. The museum has events that happen here that uh, we host and the town also rents out the facility uh, to any kind of group, weddings, uh, uh, I guess if um, trying to think of some of the other events right offhand that, that happen here. But they, any kind of event that people would need a hall of this uh, size. As, as far as the museum is concerned, they have fundraising events. They have their Heritage Day, their, they have their wine and cheese auction in the fall. And most of these are a, um, events to raise money to help uh, maintain the, the displays. That's great, yeah. And does the museum offer tours? You said it 
offers tours? Yes, I, they, they, ha they offer uh, school-based tours uh, on the curriculum. They, anyone can get a, a guided tour if they phone ahead and between you know on Monday to Friday and then on Saturdays during the summer uh, you uh, people can stop by and, and receive tours then. Great. And where is the museum located in Coaldale? Well it's on the main highway that runs north-south through Coaldale, the highway 845. It's toward the north end of town and um, actually not very far from the Birds of Prey and uh, it's uh, quite easy to find. Okay. And where can people get more information about the museum? Well, the museum has a website, I believe it's www.jamathewest.ca, and they also have a Facebook page uh, where people can get more information uh, about when it's open and what kind of displays are here and the tours available. Oh, wonderful. That's always good, and it comes in handy to be able to search and see the website. It's, it's handy for people who are looking for a place to go and tour yeah. for Coldwell. Yes, and it's, it's, one of, it's one of the largest rural museums in southern Alberta. It's a, I mean, it's a beautiful large building with many per, 15 permanent displays in it. And uh, I think it's kind of uh, a hidden gem if you, you know, so to speak, because a lot of people don't know that it's here and uh, we'd like to raise the awareness so that people could come and enjoy it. Well, thank you so much, Lyndon, for taking your time and being on the show today. You're very welcome. I was pleased to do that. I want to thank you for taking the time to tune in to Where You Live. I'm Paige Hudson. See you next time.